Professor, have you seen the news? All freshwater lakes in the world are turning red and poisonous. Soon there'll be no water left safe to drink. Sounds like Neville's work. Red was always his favourite colour. I wonder if he's using some kind of algae. I've looked at the water with a magnifying glass, but I can't see anything. That's because these organisms are extremely small. We can use a light microscope to try to find them, but to fully identify them, we need a scanning electron microscope. What's a scanning electron microscope? It's a microscope that uses electrons. It lets you see objects and details smaller than the wavelength of light itself. How does it work? Glad you asked. Here's a simple model of one. Inside the microscope, there is an electron gun firing electrons. Coils and lenses direct the electrons onto the target. The bouncing electrons are picked up by detectors and fed through to the monitor, which builds up the image. The clever folks in FEI have squeezed all of that into this tiny box. It's called a phenom. Wow! All that fits in there. Amazing, isn't it? Come now. We've set up the simulation terminal with a tracker. We need to find out what's in the water that's turning it red and toxic. 